Hey everyone, it's Trader Rob. This morning we have Consumer Confidence Report coming out at 9 a.m. Central Time. Coming off a of green day, let's keep it rolling right after the intro. As always, nothing that I state on this channel is financial advice. Trading futures or any type of trading is risky business. Any capital that is put out there is at risk for loss. All right, as I stated, coming off of a green day yesterday, we banked $306 for the eval account, which currently sits at $50,204.72. Let's build on that sucker today. Um, oil we've got this morning... Kind of started with a little bit of a downtrend here, um, but as of the last 15 to 20 minutes of the market, it has just been absolutely ripping upwards. Um, can't say the same thing about gold. Obviously not just a kind of a, a big range here from um, pretty much from the overnight open. So we'll be monitoring that. Let's take a look at the trades from yesterday. Let's start with the loser, um, oil session two. Took this trade, very small trade, with three uh, micro, uh, three micro contracts of the MCL. We got activated to the short off of the 905 inside bar, and we unfortunately get ticked out, and then this thing just rips in our in our direction. So that was a fifty-one dollar loser. And if we take a look at gold. Gold yesterday was a beautiful winner. Uh, inside bar, 8.15 in the morning. We get activated into the short, and this sucker just rips all the way right to our, right exactly to our take profit. 36 ticks, $360, and that is what got our account yesterday to a plus 306 for the day. Uh, let's open up the Rob reversal. This is from yesterday. Uh, pretty ugly. Pretty ugly trading day, honestly. Um, very difficult to make money right here. It's it's possible, but it's you know you've got to be very very nimble. Uh, we get a at 12:45 a setup to go long closes below the ADMA. No trade. It's invalidated. We do get a valid setup here at 1:15 p.m. to go short. But as I will, if you don't know the rules to the rob reversal. There is a link to the video explaining that strategy and all my morning strategies down below. We do not get activated here. So this thing continues, reverses back up. Never get into this trade, keeps you out of a bad trade. And then on this candle right here, we get a setup to go long, closes above the ADMA, so there would be no trade. But as well, it was at 145, so that would invalidate that setup. Let's see what we can find here this morning in our strategies. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited for the day today. We do have consumer confidence coming out at 9 a.m. this morning, Central Time, which will move the markets. There will be some spikes there. So let's see how the strategies react and uh, stick around for my trade recaps and my end of day recap. See you in a little bit. Order canceled. All right, so here we get activated into our first trade of the morning, and um, our trade is in gold, which is in the right side of my chart. The left side of the chart is always in oil. So we get activated here into a long scenario. Um, gold's kind of just been ranging in the morning, um, hasn't really had a, a clear, I guess, upper trend or downtrend. Um, so we get activated out of that red inside bar and really what I'm looking for is a breakout in one direction or the other and I, I just let price action take over from this point. So we do okay. get uh, ticked in here um, to the long and not really the momentum that you're looking for out of my inside bar plays. Um, so we are looking for just kind of a 
kind of like an impulsive move one way or the other. Um, and we're hoping that price action can take us into where we need to for take profit. Um, as you guys can see, price action has, uh, if we look to the left, uh, you can see that price action where we're at with our TP, which is in that, which is the green um, OCO order that you see up. There is uh, a clear, I mean, it's, it's, an area that I can see price action definitely wanting to go retest. And um, again, it's it's a momentum play. We don't really get the momentum that we're looking for here. And it really, the trade is really stalled out right from our entry point. Small trade in gold, um, not huge position, 17 ticks, but it is a loser for the first trade of the morning. Stop filled. All right, so here we get into our second trade of the morning, and our second trade is in oil session two. So I kind of figured out what I think my issue is with my bracket orders on in oil. Since I'm trading it on the micros, it uh, well, first of all, we get activated here into the short, um, and the reason why I'm getting these errors is that on this eval account, this is what I believe. I now have to confirm this with Top Step, but um, I, I was with Ninja Trader Tech Support for a long time. They're pretty great. Since we are putting in uh, on this eval account, a max I could trade is five contracts. So what it's doing is, since I'm putting a bracket order at the top and the bottom of my inside bar. It, once I get activated one way or the other, it is deleting the secondary order in the opposite direction. Obviously, we don't want to do that. Um, but it is actually, once it sees the new bracket orders, it's considering them additional quantities over the five. So I got to figure out with them somehow how I can get around that. Um, I don't know, I guess I've, I've just, on the eval, really never traded with the three micros on this type of inside bar strategy where you're putting in two OC orders. On the E-minis, it does not affect it at all, um, but it, uh, for some reason, affects this. So I do have to do my orders manually here. Um, this trade, obviously, like I said, we're looking for a short here. Price action goes against us. Um, it stayed around the entry line for quite some time, but ultimately, um, buyer step in and knock me out. Order canceled. All right, and we were able to record our 15 minute Rob reversal for today. Um, we have here, it's, it's nice because I was able to record this one right from the beginning. Um, so if you look at the red inside bar that's got the red arrow on the top, that is our activation candle. That means that the setup, the pattern, the candlestick pattern that we're looking for is there. It is within our time frame of 8.30 in the morning to 1.15, check. Closes below the ADMA, check. Now all we are waiting for is price action to pierce the entry order short, which it did. Obviously, you saw that at the beginning of the video. I've got this sped up because it does take quite a bit of time. Um, and again, this is a momentum play that um, we really, on this one in particular, just do not get any momentum at all. So right after, pretty much from our entry, um, it kind of reverses on us. And um, price action here just does not look favorable. I will say, looking at the chart, Getting into this trade, I love this trade. I love the the setup of this trade, and um, you know, obviously, you know, in in hindsight, the trade spoiler alert does not work out. Um, the Rob reversal has been doing great pretty much the last few months, and um, but you know, there's no strategy that's going to be 100 percent of the time. That's for damn sure. But as far as the setup, where it took the trade. To me, honestly, everything looked really good on it. Um, but unfortunately, we take a loser. Stop filled. So I asked my kids, what's the opposite of a unicorn? 
you know, I like to call those days where all the trades work unicorn day. And they're like, well, dad, what about a donkey? And uh, I think that fits the bill pretty damn well. Today was a donkey day. Um, I'm going to coin that phrase. Hopefully I don't have to use it much, but um, today was a solid 0 for 4 on losers all across the board. So I don't know where you want me to start. They all lost, so I guess we'll start with the uh, least loss, maybe? I don't know if that's even a word. That's the right way to say it. But gold today was a loser. We got an inside bar here at 8.30 in the morning. Uh, we get activated to the long by about a tick and quickly reverses on us for a hundred uh for 17 ticks i think i lost 160 on that one but seems right unless there's a tick there missing but i don't know you just saw the video it's it was 160 or 170 dollar loss on that one had to be no i'm sorry it was 170 it was 17 ticks because that's what i am down today in my cash account took this in the e-mini um contract in cash Took it e mini in the eval, so 170 down in gold this morning. Oil, same old story with oil. Um, session one, we get activated to the short. This thing reverses on us. First session, 15 ticks, not trading session one, but at the same time, I am tracking the numbers on them. February obviously does not look good. And second session, which you guys saw, I did take this trade, um, again, got activated to the short and quickly reverse, eh, not quickly, but about 20 minutes into it, reverse on us, 18 tick loss on there. I am taking oil in a very small three micro position, so um, those don't hurt, obviously, as bad. I'm not really caring so much about the dollar amount as I am caring about um, the win and loss ratio. Um, I would obviously, we need to get uh, these oil strategies um, kicking, and they've been a donkey. They've been a donkey all month, so it is what it is. Uh, we will see what... Uh, we've got one more day in February, so we'll see how the end of February numbers come out in all three of the strategies. I know the Rob reversal has done great in February, but at the same time, and I know a lot of us were talking about the same thing today in Discord when you know we took the two losses. Mainly people are trading session two oil and gold. So after the two losses, we're like, hopefully the Rob reversal can come through and get us into, uh, maybe get the day into green. Well, this is the Rob reversal um, chart for today. Uh, we had a setup that appeared to go short at 11.15, does not get activated because it does not close below the ADMA. We get um, a setup to go long at 12.15. That doesn't get activated because that is below the ADMA. And then right after the opposite or the consecutive, the next candle, uh, we get a, sh a setup to go short. Now this one fits all our conditions, 1230. So it's within that time window of 830 in the morning to 115. We set our, we set our entry order to go short, the bottom of this candle. We do get activated right here, um, but quickly this thing reverses and knocks us out for 35 points. So again, the one thing that you're gonna find on my channel, um, regardless if you're trading the strategies, you're not, is you're gonna see every trade that I take, um, the good, the bad, and the ugly. So I show my losers as I show my winners and I think that that's important because, and this even goes for some of the channels that I view that I, I I find them I find the channels great and I find the instruction or the um, the person that I'm watching I, I I find that they're great they've got I think great intentions on helping people learn, 
But I think there's also a disjustice that's done to the YouTube community and the trading community in general by putting on videos where you just show a winner on your strategy. So you might not post on the strategy for a week, week and a half, and then you have a fantastic day, you post that, it gets a whole bunch of interest into the strategy and into the channel, and then you don't see that setup happen again or you don't see that them posting much about that setup anymore. So I think when I when I talk about transparency, I think that that is the main gist that I wanna to get um, to everybody. I know I keep talking about transparency on my losing days um, because it's it's so easy to talk about your winning days. You're, you're super motivated, but I honestly, besides the money that I lost today, which, I lost $700 on my funded account. So that one is pretty much back to, I think I'm minus like $16 now. Um, minus 700 on the funded account, uh, minus 160 today on the cash account, and minus, what was this number here? Minus 227 on the eval. So yesterday I had a great day, 360, um, plus 360 on the eval, or I know I was a little less, um, because I took the oil. I was plus 360 on my cash account yesterday, which is fantastic. Um, so overall still, I, I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a, I'll do a recap tomorrow and tomorrow's video, which is gonna be on the 28th of February as to where I pretty much finish out the month, especially on my cash account. Um, I think it's gonna be very close because I was looking at my balance this morning and I, feel like it was pretty close to where my balance was in February. If you guys remember about a, maybe about a week ago, I was down 300-ish um, for the month in um, on the cash account. And since then, I think we've been green uh, more than we've been red. So my gut is, is that I'm, I'm probably very close to break even. If not, I might be a little red or a little green. Either way, I'll let you guys know. Um, so that's that's really it for that's really it for today. We're gonna call today Donkey Day. Um, the days that I guess where all of our setups don't work. Um, I think my kids coined that one pretty damn good. Markets in general. Let's just take a look. Um, so if we take a look at oil, oil today had a nice, pretty much nice up day. Um, ranged a little bit in the late, I should say late morning, afternoon, and then continue its climb upwards. Gold um, pretty much been declining, tried to fight back during the noon period, and then has pretty much come down to its, um, around its lows for today. So that's, that's gold and oil. Taking a look at the S and P on another chart, got a nice little, nice little move there at right around uh, noon. So S and P's been ranging. I mean, it's still, I guess, still in this range. Tested the low and then just kind of came back. And um, looking at the Nasdaq from the Rob reversal. Granted, this is on the 15 minute, so still kind of just stuck in this range. So that's been the that's been kind of the story the last couple of days of trading. And that's the kind of the way it goes. So we'll see you guys here tomorrow. Um, please, if you haven't, consider subscribing to the channel. Um, most importantly, like the video. It helps me stay in front of you. Hopefully that's something that you guys like. And uh, leave me a comment below. I read them all, try to answer all of them. Um, got about a day and a half, two days worth of comments that I've got to still go through tonight, um, but I will answer them. So that's all I got. Happy trading, everyone. I'll see you guys here tomorrow.